Hi, my name is Nihal Singh and I am from Proud Technologies. Today I am going to give you the demonstration on eCode software management system. Right? So this is our login screen. If you want to log in into the eCode software admin panel, you need to give your user ID and password on the given text boxes and after that just click on the sign in button all right so the username is admin and the password is one two three four five and when you click on the sign in button you will get into the e code software management admin panel all right so this is the admin panel of our software and these are all the panels of admin panel all right so this is the clerk panel this is the registrar panel this is the scrutiny panel this is the cashier panel this is the commissioner panel and after that this is index chief judge court court judge court registrar stenographer scrutiny bailiff case keeper library and appeal section all right these are all the all panels of e code software management system okay and uh, uh, before i give you more details of uh, admin panel of e code software management i would like to tell you a little small summary of uh, uh, this software like i'll give you the I'll, I'll tell you the life cycle of this software if you want to make a case on anyone so you first you need to go to the clerk all right and when you submit all your doc all your documents then clerk uh, send the sends the file to registrar panel and registrar check all the documents if there is any problem if there is any problem they send it to send send it back to the clerk panel all right and if it is correct then registrar send it to the cashier panel cashier panel collect the court fee from the petitioner and send it to the commissioner panel all right and if there is no court fee then it is automatically send it to the indexer panel and after indexing after indexing the case it will again uh, send back uh, send it back to the registrar all right and when indexing is complete and registrar checks the indexing if indexing is complete then it send it to the chief judge panel and what is the role of the chief judge panel chief judge panel checks which court uh, which judge has low number of cases all right and after that when they got when they get the uh, judge who has the lowest number of cases then the case will assign to the court judge court judge uh, here or he court judge here all the details of the case and after that it will give another hearing and another hearing if the case is finished then it will uh, it will go into the court registrar panel and court registrar court registrar to stenographer and then scrutiny where basically court registrar stenographer and scrutiny uh, secretaries i'm sorry secretary secretary they all are uh, the part of court judge they are working under the court judge all right when court judge gives the decision makes a decision the decision will send it back to the court registrar stenographer and secretary all right and after that the acknowledgement letter given to the bailiff panel bailiff panel uh, give all the acknowledge to the clerk panel and to the petitioner also and after that the case is send it to the case keeper okay then from case keeper to library and library as it is uh, suggest the name library library means you can see all the cases of the code from the library and uh, after that appeal section if you are not happy with the court uh, court result and you want to make appeal on next uh, higher level court then you can uh, go to the appeal section panel all right so this is the small summary of the e code software management system all right so uh, <clears throat> before i give you uh, the details of uh, other, other panels so this is in for the day and we will give you 
more details of e-course software management system in our next video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.